welcome to another WIP Tips. My name is Brandon Smith and I do digital tech support here at WIPMIX. Today I'm going to show you how the impression scanning works with the three shape software and the E3 scanner. So the first thing you're going to want to do is set up your case. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just give mine a random name. And now in order to set up for a crown and bridge model, um, you need to select the tooth that you're going to do. Um, so this is a number um, 18 here. Um, then I'll go up here to the top right um, and select anatomy. And then just above that we have a few options for scan settings. Um, what we're going to want to change is the object type. Um, we're going to select instead of model, we're going to select digital impression. Or I'm sorry, impression. And then under that you see tray system. Uh, from there you're going to want to select what kind of tray you're doing. So this is a posterior triple tray. So I'm going to select posterior triple tray. Um, and then that's all you have to do really for the setup. So I'm going to come down here to the bottom right and select scan. So this is the impression fixture provided by 3Shape. Um, it's a two-piece fixture. Um, the way this works is this is on a spring-loaded clamp. Um, so you'll just take your mod or your impression here. Um, you always want to go maxillary side up first when you scan. So we're going to go ahead and set this in here um, and let the spring-loaded clamp hold it in place um, so it doesn't move around. And then you can see here it's got these three magnetic balls here that match the three indentations. We're going to go ahead and set that on there. And then the same thing here, we've got these three indentations here and the three magnetic balls in the scanner. So we're going to make sure that everything matches up. And then we're going to go ahead and scan. So once the model finishes post-processing, um, we're going to select Trim up here at the top left. And then all we're going to do is move this around so we can see the entire impression here. And we're just going to single click and trace out the area that we want to keep on the model. And you'll want to make sure that you always move in the same direction and then when you get to the end you'll want to single click on the first spot that you started on and then you can see that it trimmed away all the excess and left us with our actual model. Um, so once you're happy with the way that it's trimmed um, you'll select next at the top left. And now we're going to come back here to our scanner um, and we're just going to flip over the impression tray inside the clamp. You want to make sure that you do not move it while it's on the clamp unit, otherwise the bite will not line up at the end. So since this is our prep side with the uh, prep tooth on it, we're going to want to select our prep tooth. Um, all we're going to do is come over to the buckle surface and select one spot on it. So I'm just going to left click and then it'll continue scanning.
So now that the second arch has finished scanning, um, we're going to come back in here and do the same thing. So we're just going to go ahead and single click points to trim it. Always making sure that we're working in the same direction. And then any areas that you do not like, you can always come in here and just left click and hold and redraw the trace line and it'll trim it to that spot. Once you're satisfied with the way that it's trimmed, you'll just go ahead and hit next. And then it'll ask you to align the triple trays together. Um, as long as you don't move it in the holder, the alignment is usually spot on, um, which this one is. If it were not, um, you would just click this icon down here that says align manually, and then it would be similar to aligning a byte with points. Um, so we'll go ahead and hit next. And then this shows you our end result in the byte. And now it's ready for design.